Good morning. Good morning. It is the 21st of May, Tuesday. Terrific Tuesday. Had a pretty good week this past week. Very busy. Yesterday, I, I think I I got some liquid in my sinuses and <clears throat> I was having issues yesterday. Anyway, I feel much better today. So happy for that. But yeah, last week was really, really full, really busy, really exciting, fulfilling, all those things. I was able to get some stuff done, but whew, I was tired this weekend. This weekend was still busy. So I hope you're having a terrific Tuesday. That's what today's going to be for me because it is terrific. As usual, God just continues to open my mind and my eyes to see what he is wanting and doing in my life. You notice the title was Light, John 8, 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. And this is so true. Yesterday I was having a little bit of a, I wouldn't say down day. I don't normally have really down days. I guess down day for me. Like I said, my sinuses were all messed up. I My flavor was off. It just was really gross. I didn't feel bad, but I just, ugh. Just didn't feel right. Everything felt weird. But the one thing that just kept bringing me joy and peace was Jesus. Jesus is in my life. He's always there. I can always turn to him and I can always speak to him and he always makes things right. So I think I'm, I'm in a bit of a transition in my life doing different things. And I can get me in the past have felt very disconnected from things. I start to feel like I'm not even a part of life anymore in, in a sense. And I think that's what I was feeling a little bit yesterday. And I don't know if it had anything to do with the sinuses or just the different changes that are going on in my life and then everybody's life around me. But his light can be there through that anyway. And that's that was the difference with yesterday over things in the past when I had situations like this. There was just a peace. I felt like something was off a little bit. And like I said, I don't know if that was my sinuses or what that was, if it's what's been going on. There's been a lot of strife among my family and my friends, just people talking about each other. And in the past, I would listen to it. I listen in the sense that I want to be there for them and to help them. But before I would get really invested in that gossip. And that's what it is. His light really shone, shined, shone through yesterday for me and helped me to be compassionate and caring towards those people and to just really be there for them, but not let that affect me. Because I think a lot of times I was reading Proverbs um, 21, 28 today. And how many of us listen to a liar? Because it talks about, I don't remember the exact verbiage, but a uh, liar, they're just a liar. Don't listen to them. But there's so many times when things are going on and someone will come along that is a liar and they will speak words to feed the fuel that we're already feeling because we don't stop and give it to God. And then we believe their lie. But we know this person's a liar. So we need to remember that when we're listening to different people, especially people that are talking about other people, that are gossiping about other people, that are just not being very nice. Why are they saying that? What is their history? Are they someone that just says things that aren't true all the time? That maybe you shouldn't put any brain into that. But also in Proverbs 29, I've been, as I've been doing my Proverbs lately, I've been trying to write either a word or a little like short thing, which each proverb is pretty short, but shorter than what the proverb is to sum it up. I was talking to my mom about this yesterday. Wisdom comes out all the time in Proverbs. Self-control comes out a lot discernment comes out a lot. And I think that's where we need to focus on our discernment and to keep Jesus's light in our life. Don't allow that darkness that's coming. The devil uses things, man. He's sitting there. He's using these words. He's using this person that says things all the time. And you don't hate that person. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying you need to, when people are bringing stuff to you that is stirring up and breaking that peace, that's the other word that appears in Proverbs lots a lot. Be peaceful of peace. Be at peace. Be discerning. Don't listen to what everybody says. Know that we are to, created to be peaceful. We're created to love one another and not to continue to believe in the strife and allow the devil to work on us. So I, I said, let the Lord's light shine through you. Remember, no matter what's going on, how you're feeling, that he is the light and he's with you and he will never leave you. He's always beside you, even in those times when you're walking through fire or things are hard. If you're sick, if there's a death, if there's an employment, if there's financial strain, there's so many things in the world that can bring us grief and we make it to be our world where we need to remember to make Jesus our world. So I hope that helps you to have a terrific Tuesday. I'm going to go, I'm going to do a few things this morning. Then I'm going to go groom me some crazy dogs and then go walk with my ladies today, which I look forward to that every Tuesday. I am down more poundage. I'm excited about that. I did not have a lot of weight to lose. I think you might've seen some of my posts if you have, but I did 20, 25 pounds I need to lose. And I've heard some people have told me that they didn't feel like I had that to lose, but I'm pretty heavy. All my clothes are getting tight. I was already in a size I didn't want to be in. They're not tight anymore. 
and maybe I can get down to that size I was before, which is the size that I like. And that's what I'm looking forward to. Feeling good, looking good, and being happy. So have a terrific Tuesday. I love you as always. God loves you. And I'll talk to you soon.